Blessed Jesus, living bread By yourself our souls are fed Give us all the eyes to see All that you were sent to be Is this even real? I mean, I was supposed to be greeting you right here in the entryway at church, and now we're blinded by feet of snow and cold, and it's Holy Week. Is it even possible that this is happening? That I'm sitting here walking into a church that's dark and empty? Is it even possible that I'm not going to be preaching to people in pews on Holy Week? I mean, it's given me a little bit of deja vu because just two years ago, I was up there in the balcony, right up there, recording all the time. Services, devotions, sermons, and here we are doing the same thing. For a little different reason, of course. Um, we needed the moisture, I guess. <laughs> but it does kind of make you ask the question, is this even real? Doesn't it? And I guess that's kind of the question we have to consider on Holy Thursday, isn't it? Because in Luke chapter 22, which I was supposed to be preaching on right over there, Jesus institutes a new meal for us, his holy supper. And sometimes that meal makes you ask, is this even real? Is God's love real? Is the presence of our Lord in, with, and under the bread and the wine, is his body and blood really there? Is the forgiveness that he speaks of and he promises, is it really there. Well, today, and really all of Holy Week, and for all eternity, God's answer is yes. It's real because Jesus is real, because Jesus' love is real. And on this week, we get to see how real his love really is. Not just love that washes his disciples' feet that's so selfless and, and servant-like. Not just love that's willing to do some things that are difficult, but love that's willing to make the ultimate sacrifice and then make us partakers in what he won for us on the cross, right? I mean, Jesus went to the cross, he was betrayed, he was beaten, and all of that happened so that our forgiveness would be real so that we can walk around every day with comfort and peace and joy. So the storm outside, yep, it was real. <laughs> Monday was 50 degrees, but then Tuesday everything changed, and Wednesday, and now we're not here in church tonight, but, but God's love and his forgiveness is real. And the presence of the Lord, his body and blood in the supper is real, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for that. We'll be here. I talked to the guy who plows out our parking lot and I, I'm hoping that all the plows can get in the streets and I think our musicians will be able to be here and our live stream audio visual guys. I, I think we'll, it'll be all good to go for Good Friday. But for today, maybe it's good for us to read through Luke chapter 22 and remember all of it is real. 
the love, the forgiveness, the peace, the comfort, the joy. Jesus gives it to us, and it's real. And we get to thank God for that. I hope you get to do that with me tomorrow night at 7 o'clock for Good Friday. And I think I saw snow in the forecast for Saturday night into Sunday morning. <laughs> but I still plan on being here at 7 o'clock a.m. and 10 a.m. for Easter to rejoice in the real victory that we have in Jesus. God bless you. Stay safe. Stay warm. And uh, good luck getting out from all the snow. <laughs> We'll see you later. Not by this world's bread alone Can our life become full-grown But by every word that goes Starving souls are blessed to hear